While Ralphie from A Christmas Story may have wanted a Red Rider BB gun for Christmas, I at that age wanted a GNG Combat Raider, an airsoft gun. I'm Sam Hoyle, your Wasco neighborhood reporter, with many gearing up for a fun haunt on Thursday night with Halloween right around the corner. Props can make any costume that much better. However, when it comes to replica firearms, those are probably best left at home. The main word of caution would be just don't. It's, it's just safer not to with how real these things are. Um, these are 100% replicas. That's Ben Ross, an employee at Gorilla Airsoft in downtown Bakersfield. From his perspective, while there are some key differences between replica firearms like an airsoft gun and real firearms, they should be handled by the person that owns them in the same manner, safely. Always use a gun bag, a gun case, whatever you have to properly conceal it to carry it the way you would a real one. Do, do the same thing you would do with a real one with these guys. Wasco Police Chief Charlie Fivecoat echoing Ross's sentiment Wednesday afternoon as well. You go to a park at midnight, maybe it's after the Halloween festivities, and someone's out there carrying what looks like a, a, an authentic firearm, and depending on the communication how it goes, it could be a very dangerous situation. Five Code asking the public to think twice before heading out the door with a prop that could potentially turn a treat of an evening into a tricky situation for the public and law enforcement. And we want them to have a great time and we want them to be able to, to uh, pick the costume that they want. When it comes to firearms though, or anything that looks realistically like a firearm, We'd much prefer that they don't take them out with them. So while airsoft pellet and paintball guns are meant to be fun in a very similar manner to real firearms, safety rules do still apply and you should not bring them out in public, not unless they are inside a gun bag. Wishing you a safe and fun Halloween. I'm Sam Hoyle, your Wasco Neighborhood Reporter.